When you design, say, in steel, do you have a preference still, ASD or LRFD? Oh, yeah. What's your preference? I, I, I love the green book. When I was at Penn State, we, we started with the 8th edition AI, uh, AISC manual, which was the red book. And about halfway through my term at, at Penn State, the, uh, the ninth edition came out. So for the last year and a half or two years, it, it was the ninth edition. Um, so I had some troubles with that transition because they, they completely changed the organization of the manual from the eighth to the ninth. But then the, you know, the, my last year I took the, the LRFD course, which was the first edition LRFD manual. And it was interesting, you know, it was, it was trying to design things in a manner similar to how you design concrete. But I had just gone through, three, I think I took three courses that I used either the 8th or 9th editions nonstop. So allowable stress design was beat into my head. And this LRFD thing, it was interesting, but I'm like, okay, I'll learn it someday. Um, and then I forget which edition of the manual came out, and they were like, okay, we, we've got ASD and LRFD side by side. So all you ASD fans, you can now still do ASD. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's LRFD divided by two. <laughs> so, you know, you're, you're still using formulas that are completely different. You're, you're basing it on some things that are completely different, all to refine a, an answer maybe by a beam size. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The downstairs. Yeah. Thirteen edition. Yeah. Do you have a preference? LRFD, ASD. ASD. Question. Because my my opinion is is that LRFD is great when you're doing higher ISO, higher ISO work, when you're doing things that have really big concentrated issues, uh, it gives you some benefits. But generally, you're doing LRFD and then you're converting back to ASD in order to your serviceability. So why are you doing the same work twice? That's my my take. There are some additional. There yeah. are some benefits to LRFD. Don't get me wrong, but for the small small size projects I do, you know, or four stories is probably about as big as it gets. That's about the, the benefits outweigh the extra effort. Great, great. Great feedback. And I can just chime in on the ESD or the debate. Like, you know, if you're getting something that's going to fail your concrete or yielding, that's fine. I, I get the LRFD, why not? But I, um, the book I learned on, we take one more step back. I'm, I'm proud of my hometown. <laughs> I, I looked out with like, I, like my hometown of Illion. I just had a great upbringing. Yep. Right? I, the book I learned uh, steel on was the third edition LRFD. I'm embarrassed to be from that hometown. I just don't like that book. My, my colleague and I were talking about it. Is that it. the one that's Penn State Blue? It was Penn State Blue. It's a good looking <laughs> book. You can thank Charlie Carter for the color. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so you should have waited, waited one more. <laughs> yeah. Then would have had it, then that would have been worth having a, because the right color on the 13th edition. I love it. Like that's, that's the first one they merged together and now it's 15. So. That's I, right. It was the 13th. But, but yeah, because they had a nine and four and three. Okay. Yeah. And plus one. Well, I just, I, I, I find that when you're doing, I, a lot of times I'm doing work in, in old buildings. You're dealing with something that's already got load on it, and now you're adding more load to it, you're reinforcing it. And, you know, to me, knowing what the stresses are in the existing beam versus what you're adding to it, ASD just, it, it flows so much better. And, even if I'm doing a new calculation, it's just, you know, the, the, the formulas just flow much more easily. If I'm doing LRFD, it seems to take longer. And, and for me, it's, a, it's, it's without sounding too cute, it's like an intuitive thing. You can, like, get a feel better in ASD. It's like, oh, there really is 3,000 pounds. Right. And the wood is it's really at 1,200 PSI. Here's something. Like, that immediately means something. It's not one step removed in statistics land where yeah. two kips is really 3.2 kips. And that's my 
take, but that's it's more intuitive. It's more intuitive. <laughs> Continuing the ASD, L or FD. Um, when I say I, I much prefer ASD, I'm talking about when I'm doing hand calculations. If I'm using a computer program, you know, plugging something into uh, RISO or RAM Steel, yeah, I'm going to set it to L or FD, and I'm going to let it do it, let it do its thing. But when I when it comes time to evaluate the results, I want to see service level numbers you know because that's what I'm comfortable with it's what I've always learned um, you know so whatever benefits there are to using LRFD I'm, I'm getting those but I'm, I'm kind of ratcheting it back into things that I'm, I'm more familiar with